Hello everybody, welcome to another Fun Night Friday. Today we're going to have some fun talking about Kloss Cutlery. Uh, this is a very old company, it was founded in 1877. Uh, it was Their first factory was in Ohio. They made all kinds of razors, knives, uh, shears, scissors and the like. So it is a very old company. I did a review on this. This is a, a Klaus Premium Stockman. And the reason it's called a Premium Stockman is it does not have a sheep's foot blade. And it is basically a cattle knife, but on a serpentine uh, frame. That's why it's called a Premium Stockman. Now the Klaus Cutlery pocket knives, uh, it's believed that they were made by Case. And there may have been some other... Uh, manufacturers. I don't believe that they manufactured these in-house, but they did uh, have a reputation for uh, producing some fine cutlery, including uh, specialty type surgical instruments and the like. So I just wanted to highlight this company because this is kind of indicative of where we stand today. We have these, you know, great classic American companies that thrived for decades, and then because of competition and that, uh, they they get saw, uh, bought out by somebody else. So in 2004, Klaus Cutlery was bought out by Acme United, and Acme United is also this uh, also bought out Camillus. So as we look at the the packaging here, we can see it's got the Klaus name. And on the reverse back here, it does say Acme United Corporation. And it shows that it's designed in the USA. Let me see. I'm assuming it's manufactured in China. Hold on just a moment. Let me double check. Yep, I had to look hard. But yeah, it's, it's down here. Uh, made in China. So here's an old American-made piece of Klaus Cutlery. Uh, nice bone handles to it. I did a review of this knife. But what struck me is I saw this package in Menards of these uh, scissors and this knife together. And yeah, dual, uh, dual blade knife pack. An all purpose shear. This was under $4. It was $3 and something. I bought two of them. The reason I bought one of them anyway is I wanted a good pair of heavy duty scissors I needed to replace the ones that I had so I have no problem with these scissors whatsoever this is an interesting design um, they are locking so look at this you got a sheep's foot blade and you have a hawkbill blade this one pretty wobbly you push down on this and that unlocks the blade. Yep, pretty wobbly. Hawkbill blade. So, did I just get a bad one? It's an interesting concept. But when you, when you try to use it, you got this blade in your way. So, it's not the best design. So, I bought two of them because I was going to use one as a stocking stuffer. I don't know here. I was just wondering, it, is this one just a bad one that I got? What if I open up this other one here and see if this one is of better quality? So hang on here. Let's see if we can do this without, uh, you know, cutting myself. There we go. Well, it does appear to be sharp. Did cut through there pretty good. And we'll get this one out. Still wobble to it, but doesn't seem to be as bad as the other one. Let's check this one out. Oh yeah, there's wobble. So again, with the scissors and this knife being under $4, you can't expect a whole lot. 
And again, this is what I call a tackle box knife. It's just one of those knives you can throw somewhere and have around as a spare in case you would need it. If you lose it, you're not out anything. And again, the concept is nice. I like the two blades. I really like this ram's foot. And a pretty decent hawk bill. I mean, you could use this around the yard. You could use this for some gardening tasks. And again, $4. Well, actually $2 when you throw in the scissors. So again, this is what I got for $4. I got what appears to be a pretty decent uh, set of shears or heavy-duty scissors, however you want to call them. They seem to be just fine. Got this rubber, kind of a rubberized grip in here. Yeah. What's this here? Is that a cap lifter? Is this a multi-tool? I'm don't. I'm not quite sure what the purpose of that is. Unless it's uh, like in the garden, if you put something to there, you can snip it off that way. I don't know. Serrations here. On the, on the one uh, scissor blade. Not a bad pair of scissors. And then you get this <laughs> crudely uh, assembled knife. So, what do you think? Am I out $4? Did I waste my money? I don't think so because I'll get my money's worth out of these scissors here. So, until next time everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this little review. And on my end screen here, I'll put some links to some other videos and... Don't forget to check out my Fun Knife Friday playlist. I got lots of great content on there, so check it out. If you haven't done so already, why please hit that like and subscribe button. And until next Friday, have a very delightful week.